G'day everybody and welcome to another episode of Show Us Your Junk and I'm with Paul. G'day Paul. Hey Andy. Uh, so we've got a, a 1985 GSXR 750 and I think it's, it's a Japanese import is it not? It's yep, got, Japanese domestic model. It's got the telltale fuel gauge on the front there. So what can you tell, Paul you've just restored this. Yeah. And how long did that take? Uh, it's done over a period of about three years. About three years. Uh, so originally came from Melbourne. Right. And uh, like most things, looks a lot better in the photos <laughs> than when you actually receive it. Right. Um, but the good thing about it was most, every, nearly everything was there. Uh, so it was hard to get. So the bike on. was complete. Yep. Right. Yeah. Which was the, which was the greatest thing that sort of led me to purchase it because you know lower fairings, mid fairings, very hard to get now. Okay. There's um, no re is there reproductions available there now? Uh, there are reproductions available. Uh, a company called Airtech. Airtech. In the USA do a, a whole complete fiberglass kit for them. Okay. Um, they'll do a the rear cowling as well. Yeah. Um, oh, like for the seat. Yeah. On yeah. Yep. Uh, and there was an RR model of the GSXR, mm. uh, which had a dry clutch, and they also do the same fairing kit as that, so you can have a replica racer if you're that way inclined. Okay. Um, but yeah, basically when it arrived, the fairings were, you usually got the star cracks around most of the fittings, which had to be repaired. Mm -hmm. um, wouldn't start, carburetors obviously gummed up from lack of use. Yep. Uh, which was an interesting episode in itself, as we stripped them down, um, because the accelerator pumps on this particular variant uh, only operate on numbers one and three carburetors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and somebody had installed them with the, the nozzle was back the front, so they actually squirt the fuel back into the air box. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah and it's the, useful. Yeah, yeah, and the accelerator plungers are upside down. So oh, they, they weren't even plunging. Well. Yeah, so yeah. a few little things dying out. Um, just, so the, the flat side carburetors on these yep. uh, would be classified as a racing carburetor. Yeah. And they would not be legal in California or in other places. Uh, no. Are you aware of that? No, not all. I not mean, really. They're fine here in Australia. We're, we're all good. Yeah, I think that's probably why the, they weren't released into the US until 86. Yeah, okay. Um, so the VM29 SS carby, mm -hmm. slide carby, uh, and the American model ended up with a constant depression CD carby. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's. So, what else needed doing to it, Paul? It, it, uh, it, well, it, I imagine you've gone right <laughs> through every bearing, every nut, every bolt. Yeah, it was one of those things. You think, oh, I'll do the suspension. It's okay, so a new Nitron shocky. Well, these were a. Um, uh, full floater, weren't they? Yeah, full yeah. floater, yeah, on yep. mono shock suspension. Yep. Uh, which, of course, means once you take the swing arm out, because then it starts, new wheel bearings, yep. you think, oh, yeah, you go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, suspension <laughs> linkages, <laughs> yeah, yeah, rear calipers. Um, so, yeah, I just pull all the calipers apart, rebuild them. Um, that they were a lot of bike though, weren't they? In 1985, this was a lot of bike. We've got, you know, hydraulic clutch and race carburetors, full floater suspension. They, they would just go fast machines. Yeah, yeah. they were the re endurance racer replica. That's um, right. So he had about 100 brake horsepower, mm. which, you know, by today's standards, not a lot, but the beauty was they only weighed 176 kilos. Yeah. So they're extremely light. Uh, magnesium cases rather than aluminium to keep mm. the, the, weight keep the weight down. Keep the weight down, yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, the biggest bugbear we probably had with it in restoring it was it had idle, dropped two pots, idle again. Uh, and in the end, I was just tinkering around down there and just got a hammer, give the coils a tap while it was idling. Yeah. And you could feel it come back up and drop off again, so oh. there was an internal short in the, um, in in the coils. In the coils, in on the primary side. Yeah. yeah. So, which apparently, when you ask around, they were pretty well renowned for... Oh, of, okay. So, coils did dodgy. you replace them with like for like or like for similar? No, nah, I put um, Dynatech coils in there. Yep. Um, a little bit more expensive, but I mean, a lot more spark. Yeah, I've got Dynatech in Basket Coast too. They're just, yeah. yeah, they're just the go, and, aren't they? Uh, and I think the beauty is too, if the pulse generators ever die, you can Dynatech make their own pulse, pulse generator, generator so you can run it straight to the coil yeah. rather than through the CDI, which is, which and, is a and, great thing. And the bodywork, did you have to do anything with the paint? Um, yeah, I tried to keep the paint as original as I could. The tank is still the original paint. Um, the side cover's back. Mm. Ah, but everything else forwards us. So all the fairings and that's been yeah. re repainted and re yeah. re yeah they were re stick it up, knocked around a bit. Um, luckily the mirrors were okay. Um, mm. So whoever whoever owned it looked after it. Yeah, looked yeah. after it a fair bit. And why 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 this bike? Is there a particular oh. story behind that, or is it just <laughs> you just saw it and thought I got to have it? Yeah, I just liked them because they were just 
the first of the replica sort of endurance races. Um, yeah, and yeah, they're just a bit of an iconic bike at their time. Mm. Um, and of course, they race quite extensively. Um, so you're very hard to find one now that's in, in relatively good condition. Uh, because of natural attrition rate racing, of course. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, um, You're going to yeah. wipe a lot of them out on the track. Yeah, time. yeah, and a lot of them were butchered and sort of hacked around a bit. So that was um, one of the good things. Was this, as, as I was saying, most of the bits were there. Yeah, you did have to hunt up. for parts that needed to go no, through and rework but, it all. But just little things like um, putting your glass in the reservoirs. Mm. You know, you, sounds an easy job, but it's still, <laughs> it is a little bit of tooling around. Yeah, that's right. They got a little layering on them, and you push yeah. them out and. Press a new one in, and yeah, yeah. Well, the, there's a company in the US that actually make them. You buy a little kit, it only costs you about seven dollars. Yeah. Uh, it arrives with um, the actual glass, glass reservoir cover. Yep, um, but you actually silicon them in, believe it or not. Do you? Okay. RTV silicon and then just ease them in. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, a little bit of mucking around. If you don't get it right, you've got to wait for it to dry out and mm. pop it out again. And were the braided hoses standard, or did you fit those? No, nah, the braided hoses are on it. Yeah. They came with it. Uh, yeah, the original braking system went down and was bolted just under the forks. Mm -hmm. Had a splitter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you one line from the reservoir down. And the splitter. Yeah, and then you, you put a piggyback system on yeah. it. Yeah. So or whoever put a piggyback yeah, system on Yeah, yeah. So even the brake lines are fairly period, so I thought, no. I'll just leave it. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It's like anything when you're restoring it. If it's not busted, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul, look, it's a beautiful bike and um, it's you know caught everyone's eye. Yeah. And, uh, I'd like to thank you for sharing it with us. Oh, thanks, Andy. And, uh, nice. If Appreciate you like your that, interest. don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch you next time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Bye for now.